And from Wall Street to Washington, investors were watching our nation's capital for any and all developments on the trade issues with China. Kayla Tausche was there for us. Companies shipping printers, handbags, or frozen fish, and 5,700 other items from China will see their bill rise sharply when those goods reach U.S. shores in a few weeks, if there's not a trade deal. President Trump tweeting that talks with China were constructive and candid and will continue into the future, and that tariffs may or may not be removed as part of negotiations. China said it regrets that the White House heightened tensions, and it will have to retaliate, already reportedly buying Chinese stocks to soften the fallout. U.S. officials say China's at fault for the escalation after reneging on already agreed upon parts of the deal late last week. China's vice premier still showed for talks in Washington, where he met with the trade representative and treasury secretary. He said, I come here under pressure. But after four hours of talks Thursday evening and two hours Friday morning, a cordial goodbye between the counterparts. Cleet Willems, the top White House trade negotiator until two weeks ago, said a deal may be delayed, but not off the table. There has been a lot of back and forth. Uh, there's no question about that. And that's why I'm saying I think we still can get to a place where there is an agreement. However, it is very significant that they aren't willing to, to commit to specific things at this point. And it's critical for the United States that they get those commitments so that this deal can actually be enforceable and make a difference over the long term. In the meantime, economists say U.S. consumers are already on the hook for about $69 billion in added costs from tariffs, $767 for the average family of four. But President Trump says there's absolutely no need to rush a deal, tweeting that the wealth created by tariffs will be greater than any deal. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tausche in Washington.